and welcome back to my true crime channel. Today I'm going to be looking into the very mysterious disappearance of 41 year old poker player John Johnson. Now I don't think this is a very well known case so that's why I want to get it out there but it's a very mysterious case. John Johnson was a 41 year old Icelandic man who had travelled to Dublin with his partner to participate in a poker game. This was in February 2019 and he mysteriously vanishes in Dublin on February the 9th, 2019. Now, upon arriving in Dublin at the airport, his partner had some problems with her passport, something to do with immigration. She was delayed. So John heads off to their hotel in Dublin by himself and checks in. He's looking forward to playing the poker game. Um, the poker game goes ahead. Just to let you know, he does lose £4,000, but from what his friends and family have said, because he was a poker player, this shouldn't have been a problem for him. So it wouldn't have been something that would have led him to go missing or disappear. Now John's partner is held up at the airport for a number of hours, perhaps at immigration control. She eventually then joins John at the hotel. As I've said, he does play the poker game. He loses £4,000. It's no biggie. He's used to losing money. They have a look around Dublin and then eventually they're back in the hotel on February the 9th. And very abruptly, John gets up without taking his phone, his passport or any of his possessions other than his cigarettes. I'm not sure if he had his wallet. I don't know that, I'm afraid. And he just gets up and leaves the hotel. Now, it was very strange. He didn't say goodbye to his partner, his girlfriend. He just got up and walked out. He then is seen on CCTV leaving the hotel. He doesn't appear to be acting strangely. He walks up the road and he lights a cigarette. hotel they were staying in was the Bonington Hotel which was located in Whitehall in Dublin. As I said on the date of February the 9th John gets up with no explanation his fiance I'm sorry is his fiance not his girlfriend was in the room he gets up and very mysteriously walks out doesn't give any reason or why doesn't say where he's going wanders off and as I said walks up the road and lights a cigarette really strange. John is captured smoking the cigarette walking approximately 200 yards up the road from the hotel. He's captured on the CCTV of I think a nursing or a care home looking in the window. After that moment he's never seen again. He vanishes off the face of the earth. John's fiance and family and friends have said he's never gone missing before it's completely out of character for him to do that the loss of the four thousand pounds at the poker game shouldn't have been a problem for him shouldn't have led him to be suicidal or just you know want to run away there was no problems in the relationship with the fiance to make him want to leave her and also if you're from Iceland why would you travel to travel to Dublin to go missing in Dublin I suppose you could say because the, your friends and family from Iceland perhaps wouldn't be able to find you, but to go there with your fiancé and then just decide to go missing, unless you're suffering from some kind of mental health issues and you have a breakdown and just decide to walk off and go, I can't really explain what's happened there. I'm really perplexed as to what and why made John walk out the hotel that day. So as I said, he's never spotted on CCTV after he walks about 200 yards from the hotel smoking his cigarette. The Irish police, the Guardia, did look for him, check CCTV, nothing could be found of him. It's a complete mystery. Now, obviously, there are quite a lot of theories as to what could have happened to him. Couldn't he handle the fact he'd lost £1,000, became suicidal and, and went off to take his own life? Or was so stressed by the loss of the £4,000 and was ashamed, couldn't face his fiance, 
although he'd already seen her after the loss of the money, which had happened, I think, the night before or a couple of nights before. So that doesn't make much sense either. He doesn't look like in the CCTV footage that is captured of him on the holiday in Ireland coming and going from the hotel and leaving on that last day. He doesn't seem stressed or angry. He doesn't seem upset. He looks completely normal. But if you were just going for a walk and to have a cigarette, why wouldn't you have just said to your fiance, I'm just popping out for a cigarette. I'll be back in five minutes. It doesn't make sense to just get up and walk out the hotel, does it? It's really weird. So from what? John's family and friends have said he'd never been to Ireland before, he'd never been to Dublin. He didn't have any friends or connections in Ireland or Dublin to make him want to run away or stay there. So again, really mysterious. His family and friends do believe he came to harm, that something's bad happened to him, but no one can figure out what's happened here, which is why it's such a mystery. It's always strange if someone travels to a foreign country, especially for a holiday or something work-related with the poker tournament, to just disappear in a foreign country, especially when you've never been to before, makes it all the more uh, mysterious, in my opinion. Numerous searches were carried out by the family. The fiancé obviously stayed in Ireland. Other family members travelled from Iceland and friends, and a large search of the area where John went missing was carried out. Not only that, local police and rescue services searched for John, helicopters were used, dogs were used, all big green spaces were searched in the local area, and tragically, no sign of John was ever found. There were a few witness reports seeing a man of a similar build to John in the local area after he's last spotted on CCTV. All of these were followed up by the Irish police, but unfortunately, None of the, the none of the leads that they were given of the sightings came to finding John. As I said, when John left the hotel, all he took with him, we think, were his bank cards. So it could mean that he's got his wallet or at least bank cards, maybe in his pocket, and his cigarettes. He doesn't take any change of clothes, doesn't take his passport, doesn't take his suitcase, doesn't take anything, just the clothes that were on his back, which does mean to me that I don't think he was going off to live his best life in Ireland without his fiance. you know, maybe he'd met another woman or maybe he'd planned to run off all along. Doesn't make sense to me. He never used his bank accounts from that day, so even though he had his bank cards with him, he never withdrew any more money and his bank accounts to this day still remain untouched and unused. Now, I'd just like to read out the road that's, or the places in Ireland that John was last spotted in Dublin and I just want to make sure I get it right, so just bear with me a minute. He was last seen as he comes out of the Bonington Hotel and onto the Swords Road, or Swords Road. He then walked in a northerly direction towards the junction with Collins Avenue, which is close to Whitehall Church. Now, this is all in Dublin, in Ireland. So, if any of you guys out there are from Dublin, in Ireland, or you know anyone that lives in Dublin, or you live in the local area, or you know anything about this case in general, or any connections or about it, Please get in contact with the police if you have any information on the case because John's family, his fiancée and his children, his rest of his extended family and friends are all still worried about him. You know, it's now past a two-year mark since he went missing in February this year. He went missing in February, it was February the 9th, uh, 2019. So to not know nothing for two years, to not know whether he's dead or alive, where he's gone, if he's come to harm... You know, it must be so awful. I really can't get my head around how missing people's family and friends cope and live day to day just with the not knowing. It must really niggle away at you. So I hope this case can one day be solved and that poker player John Johnson will one day be found. Mm -hmm.